friends, I'm Kelsey Terrace from the Children's Museum of Cleveland, and I'm here today with a quick science lesson. So in Northeast Ohio, we've been having a lot of weather. We had a big thunderstorm, and then we had a beautiful sunny day. So you might be thinking, where does all this rain and snow come from? Well, this is all precipitation, and that's part of the water cycle. So the water cycle involves evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. So water on the ground, either in a lake, a puddle, a river, an ocean, or any body of water, the surface evaporates. That's when the water molecules become a gas form of water and they travel up through the atmosphere. These water molecules then collect in the clouds and start to form bigger, heavier clouds. This is condensation. When that cloud gets big and heavy enough, it rains or snows or hails or shows other forms of precipitation as it comes back down to earth. So we're gonna illustrate this today with a few things you could find around your house. So I have a clear glass that I filled with about two thirds cup of water. I'm also gonna need some food coloring and I've mixed some food coloring with about a fourth cup of water. And finally, I'm just gonna need some shaving cream. So I'm gonna take my glass of water and in this case, the water is representing my atmosphere. And then I'm going to take shaving cream and put a good sized layer right on the top. And in this experiment, the shaving cream represents the clouds. So I have my water atmosphere, my shaving cream cloud, and then I'm going to pour in my colored water. Now this works best if you have a pipette at home or some sort of small dropper, but you can also just carefully pour it in. You might make a little bit of a mess, so I put some paper towels down at my home and you might want to do the same. So I'm pouring in my colored water and then you can see the water is starting to go through the shaving cream. So it fills up that cloud, which is the condensation, and then we start to have precipitation and it starts to slowly make its way down through our atmosphere or through our clear water. Now, if you want to at home, you can use one color of water like I did, or you can even use the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and see how the colors mix while they go through the cloud. This way, not only is it a lesson about the weather we've been having, but it's also a lesson about color mixing. I hope you enjoyed this quick science experiment. Remember, ask your adult friend if you could do this at home together. Bye.